Okay, hello. I'm here to introduce the image analyzer section of Reverb. So the image analyzer section can be found on the top tab uh, here under image analyzer, which is the second tab. And what we can do with uh, this section is extract the text from images. Uh, so I have prepared a few sample images so I can actually show you how this is done. Uh, once we extract the text, we can also send this text automatically to the translation center to get a translation, or we can simply save uh, this text into, well, into whatever format we like. Uh, let's get started. I have prepared this little sample text, which is uh, in Chinese. To import this, uh, I will simply drag and drop. And once I do this, you can see that the text is automatically being extracted. And we have the text. So along with extracting the text, uh, Reverb will also try and analyze the language. And once we're done with the detection and satisfied with it, we can actually send the text to the translation center. Since you have imported an image, you will actually see the image on display whenever you open the translation unit info interface. So let's have this translated into English. And here we are. Once we have done everything we wanted with the image extraction, we can also save the content. And uh, this will prompt you for a path to save the content. So uh, I have a few options here. I can choose to include the picture, the original picture or not. So if I click this, this will actually copy this picture into the uh, destination folder. I can also choose to save in a spreadsheet or just in a text file. Uh, I will save in a text file with the picture. You can see I have the image saved along with the original text. So next, um, we can also import images as a folder, which means we are going to do a batch job. I have this folder here where I have some sample images in different languages. So we can actually try uh, the um, result of reverb and also hopefully show you some of the limitations. All right, so let me drag and drop directly this folder. And as you can see, every image is being extracted one at a time. Okay, let me speed this up so we don't have to wait. So, one thing you can do once you have completed the first pass of the visual recognition is to actually use the redo button. What the redo button will do is it will try to refine the detection according to the language that has been detected. And if the language was not detected properly, you can enter it yourself. The second pass will be slightly different and more focused on the language uh, you have chosen. One thing you might want to know is that for now, the visualizer struggles a little bit with handwritten text or uh, rotated text. This will get improved in the future, but this is a current limitation that you should know. One other point you should know is the analyzer is actually able to import PDF and will extract all the images it can find in the PDF. So if your PDF has embedded images, it will uh, extract them one by one and analyze the text out of them. However, please note that it will not export the PDF back to its original form. So you will have images that you can export individually, but you will not be able to put them back within the PDF. This is also a limitation. And one last thing, once we are done, we can actually turn all the um, extracted images into their own translation units. So we can we could actually get all these texts translated. And as you can see, we can also check the pictures within the translation unit info interface. So you might have noticed you have a lot of optimized options and AI toggles. 
So these features are still being developed and they're not ready for the moment. But what this will eventually allow you to do is to refine the text with AI to correct all the noise or the mistakes in the detection. But this is not available yet. So now let me clear all this and let me actually do something fun to finish this uh, little tutorial. I will try to import this Magic the Gathering card and the reason why I want to import this card, um, well, you will see. Let me import it first. So as you can see, the text has been pretty accurately detected. We have the text from within the card, Crazy Goblin attack, attacks each turn if able with the little context or lore underneath. Uh, as you can see, we have a little static here and there. So we have these characters that are um, that shouldn't be there. Uh, and one thing you can do is toggle, tweak a little bit the sensitivity here. When you toggle the sensitivity up, it will actually get rid of the characters it's not so sure about. Uh, and this is the way you can clean up the text, but it will really depend on the image you have. Now we have this text. Well, let's see. Let's send it to the translation center. So what I'm going to do is I am going to load my Magic the Gathering project. And this is a project that contains a translation memory with uh, absolutely all the Magic the Gathering card contents translated into French from English. Uh, this is actually a resource you can find freely on the internet and you have all the translation of every single Magic the Gathering card uh, since the beginning of the game until now in every language it has been translated to. So it's a very good resource actually if you want to uh, test a project or test a new CAD tool. And so what we can do right now is uh, let me remove the lore text because we will not be able to match it. However, I want to match the uh, content of the card to the database and try to see if it actually exists. And to do this, I can actually click on the translation unit info bubble. I uh, can see the card. And as you can see, we have two translation unit matches. So let's see what this is about. We were able to match the text, even if it is a little bit different. Uh, this can happen probably depending on the version of the card or the extension, the modifications that have been made through the years uh, to the project. But anyway, uh, what we were able to do is from a picture, we could extract the text and then from the text, we could extract the relevant translation by matching it uh, from within our translation memory, which is pretty cool. Well, that's not the main point of River, but uh, that's a little fun trick we can do. And uh, yeah, I think that's it.